Hey everyone, Wandering Bard here, back with some more Final Fantasy 13 2, and today we're going back to Academia, but this is going to be a much better one. This one should no longer be ruled by the proto C Adam, because we got rid of that thing in the last video, so I'm excited to see this awesome RPG town brought to life in a much more positive light this time. changed the future. The proto Falci that threatened Academia is no more, and in the sky floats the 13th Ark. The people have built a society with their own hands, using technology of their own devising. However, the day when Cocoon is prophesied to fall is drawing closer. The Academy has put into motion an ambitious project to avert the catastrophe. I like the sound of that. Let's see what this ambitious project is like. So I'd never understood before that the 4XXAF means it's the same year, but in an alternate timeline, now that we've changed history. The music. See that? The the Falci, the vestige statue is no longer there. Yeah. We did it. We actually did it. I think you all must be happy now. This is what you wanted to see, wasn't it? Welcome to the future, you say. Hi. Are they real? Okay, well. <laughs> now is that a polite way to greet old friends? I mean, we haven't seen each other in what? How many years? It's been all of 390 years. I guess you guys have been busy, huh? That's one way to put it. Please come by my headquarters when you get a chance. You're guests of the Academy. Alyssa? I just, I just love Mog. They make Mog studying them look so stinking cute in that scene. We find the Academy head office. It's probably the most impressive looking building. What about that one? Yeah, that that would that would look likely. So there's what? Are there gate? There's gates here, right? I mean, there's obviously the one we just came through. All said and done, you handled the proto Falci pretty well. What did you do to it, anyway? I sort of have an idea of what happened, but I can't really explain it. It was more of a hunch, really. A hunch. Well, we won, and that's what matters, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that I had the right thing to do spoiled for me, because I would never have guessed that Scream at Hope was the actual correct answer. If not for it. So it makes me wonder, right? Yeah, because you can see that because the map is still the same across different areas, um, we, um... Wait, are they looking at us? Are they saying that are the citizens of Academia thinking that Sarah and Noel are hot? Yo, Sarah, they think you're a model here, believe it or not. Okay, so even though the map is the same, um, we no longer have the quest of 100%ing maps and delivering them. Which is really un... Ah, the Moogle. Wow. This has got to be Oh, There's hello. There's a TV show I watch with my dad all the time. 
It has a really funny policeman in it. I want to play with a real weapon. Honestly, y'all, if there's one thing I like about this town, on, on, maybe more than the music even, it's just that this is the most normal town that I think I've ever seen in an RPG. Oh my, you have a Moogle with you. Oh, they're so rare. I want one too. And I think that in with fantasy having so much of the fantastical and so much like gotta go fast, world's ending type stories, like I'm not saying any of that's bad, but I think it's helpful to have a slice of normal in there too. The moon is supposed to fall out of the sky someday, but it's going to be long after we're all six feet under. It's helpful because it also reminds us what we're fighting to protect, you know? It's just ordinary citizens going about ordinary lives, and it's really refreshing to see it. No, um, that's not the... How do I get... Ah, I see, I remember. Okay, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay, I guess the important detail, though, is that we don't have the maps quest anymore, and I don't know how to get back to it, though. Because it's all the pathways from the gate that we go back to Academia from and like the the old timeline, they're all closed. I'm still gonna take my time and explore the city. Yeah, they're looking at us. Pe pe people are are enamored with our protagonists in this place. Get used to that. I hacked into the system's tracking system and changed my current location, so everyone thinks I'm at school right now, even though I'm not. <laughs> Note that we should use the term normal very, uh, in a certain context. It's normal in that it's still a fantasy world and they respect it as one, but it's ordinary citizens in that world going about their lives. I think that's really nice. We need we need that. I don't think I've ever seen a, f a Final Fantasy game properly give us that. Or at least, like, I guess you get it in Final Fantasy VI sometimes, but you have to remember in most Final Fantasy games, a lot of the towns are kind of reduced to where it's more like, um... It's more like they exist just to provide you with armor and weapons and maybe side quests. And maybe plot details, but you don't get slices of just normal. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm feeling the love over here. I could get used to that. Ah, uh, that pathway's above us. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just exploring. This is honestly really nice. Yasha's Massif theme? I want that. <laughs> Everyone loves the Moogle. I Can't say I blame them. Blast is any fun. What is that? Moogle! What kind of shady deals are you working out there, buddy? Yeah, this is the Yasha's Massif theme from the from the original Final Fantasy 13. Item, there it is. Oh, that's helpful, yeah. Y'all, the other day though, when I played like when I played this game for a few hours and then I'd gone to a magic tournament to let off some steam in the evening, I could I was still I get so used to just hearing the item drop sound in the background as I'm playing this game that I was still like hearing it. My brain was still playing it in my head even though I should not be hearing it. It was honestly driving me kinda crazy. Reopened up in the neighborhood. 
Like, it's things like that. Like, we don't get that in most games. What's over here? Terminal. Welcome to Brain Blast, an Academy sponsored quiz game. Oh. We are currently accepting entries. Sure. Brain Blast is a quiz game craze sweeping the city of Academia. Access one of the quiz terminals and challenge your gray matter. A wonderful prize is awarded to those who give correct answers to every question. There's multiple quiz terminals, so why not try for a perfect score at every location? Your entry has been accepted. Answer all questions correctly and receive a fabulous prize. I'm curious. Bend your mind to the task and aim for a perfect score. What kind of questions are we going to get? Here is your first question. Live trigger. During the festival of the day of rebirth, which food stand gets the most business from children? Um... Candy Kakutar. Ah. This concludes our quiz. Unfortunately, you did not obtain a perfect score. <laughs> you gave me one question. We look forward. Welcome to We Are Current. Sure. Around 100 AF, which test was proved invalid and superfluous by the Academy? Um. Regular physical. No, oh, come on! This can we look forward. I feel like this Welcome is. Welcome to Brain Blast. We are currently. Here is your. Spells can be sealed into cards and sent as gift. Which spell makes for a popular birthday card? Um. Ruin. Oh. Okay, so this is just, this is so completely Welcome. random. We are currently, here is your first question. We'll try one more time. After the fall of Cocoon, the public became more and more aware of the truth beyond the false sea in their action. What part of the truth was messed up in the history textbooks? Um... Proof of Heart's Last Theorem. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't know... Okay. So this is, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would know any of this from like talking to the people around, or not, oh is the, God, is the question. So I don't know how to answer this, you know? Okay. Back this way. Easy money. Someone's excited. I wish someone would create a duplicate that would do housework. I'm not lazy, I just don't like doing it. Don't we all wish for that, though? I hear the item drop noise. Where's my item? Yeah, there's the Academy head office. And we will be going there eventually. Just not quite yet. Damn it. Where's my guy? He's leaving crap. I might not make it in time. Alright, nothing over package? here. This chip is about 300 years old. Pretty old. They did a great job with the map for this city, too. Honestly, this is the most impressive map out of any map I've seen in the 13 trilogy so far.
They outdid themselves with this one. How do we get over there? Ah, I see. Towners, huh? Want me to show you around? I know a big city like this can be overwhelming for a lot of people. What? No, you're not actually gonna do it? All the boys want to do is play war games. Why can't they just grow <laughs> up already? They're so immature. I hope to see you again. There's an item drop in here. Oh yeah, this is that place I was trying to find earlier. Getting all the money, y'all. Our regulars love our spicier dishes. Hey, kid. I want to build rockets at the academy when I grow up. I Dude. want to visit a world that's not cocoon or pulse. Dude, you can't that's you that, that 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 tracks though. That really tracks. Just my time. I hope we go to the pet store. Anyone have time for a questionnaire? Seems like it, yeah. That's a sick leap. Kaiser Knuckles, okay. Yeah, we've almost fully explored the explored this map. Oh, there's still more over there we haven't reached. Let's see about getting back up, cause we're we're in the air, we're in the right areas now. I wouldn't mind trying to go back to the other Academia timeline and seeing if there's more we could see there. Sometimes it's so noisy at school. You can't get all your studying done. I've been asked to interview the people of the Academy. I plan on finding out how life will change for us now that the project is almost finished. I'm I guess it is close. Uh, spoiled rich kids are part of a slice of normal too, I suppose. What should I do with all this money? I made a huge profit for my latest project. I, I can't believe the Academy was willing to pay me so much. That's nice of the Academy, though, like, for real. My grandchildren and their grandchildren will get to live on the new cocoon. <laughs> That'll be cool. A new cocoon? Y'all heard that too, right? Ooh, a gate. That's the kind of thing I've been looking for. A wild artifact. Okay. Gold gear. Nice. I hear huh. academia is the place to be if you love big cities. You can do everything through a touchscreen panel. It's almost like magic, isn't it? I'm magical too. I can open shop anywhere. I can even prove it. See? I have to even see what I've got. Because I have plenty of equipment that I'm not using yet. Chocobo racing game is so fun. I'm breeding my own chocobo. Like in serendipity? So fast that I'm one of the best in the world. Ooh, big talk. Big talk from a you kid. I'd like to see you prove it sometime. Where am I? A fascinating question. So here's another brain blast terminal. Still alive? I'm going to study really, really hard and get top grades at the academy. Over there, 
Mog, you get anything from this place? No problem, Mog. No problem. You did your best. I mean, okay, we'll try this terminal. See if there's better luck here. What is Noel's weapon of choice? Two, uh, two swords. We knew that. What creature has large eyes? Um, I'm going to hazard a guess at Jabberwocky. Ah! This can, we look forward. Okay, hold on. I want. Okay, let's try this again. We are currently here is what does Vanille lovingly call her Eidolon? I wouldn't be surprised if it is Hecatina. I never use Vanille's Eidolon. It's the last one you get. Welcome to We Are Currently. Here is your Before the Crystal Pillar appeared, it was floating in midair in midair due to the Felsi powers. I know that one. Correct. Like lore details I know, it's just random trivia that I don't. What happens to Fang's idol in Bahama and Gestalt mode? It flies with Fang on its back. I've seen that before. I use that as a thumbnail, actually, in my 13 playlist. Question three. What does Noel have equipped on his left hand? Black armlet. Also correct. Question four. Oh, how many questions? Heads are- Oh, are you kidding me? Heads. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Question five. What refreshment do Chocobo race contestants drink before their race? Chocacola? No! This concludes our quiz. No! <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, no, that's, that's, that's so silly. That wounds me. I was so close. I even got the disrespectful heads or tails question. What? What is this? Over there, Mark. What is this? It's it's okay, Mog. I just wanted to see if you had any thoughts on that. Where am I? <sighs> Honestly, the level of detail they put into this place for no reason at all besides just wanting to create this vision they had for the city. Honestly, it's amazing, and I love it so much. So there's another road over there we haven't gone to, and then there's the other pathways, which we're working on. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, keep going. The drinks are cheap right now. I almost forgot to buy some makeup. I wonder if there's milk in the fridge. I love milk. How can you be in a city like this and be bored? How does everyone find their way around here in this maze? That's a great question. I'll let you know if I ever have a good answer. Huh? Something's definitely gone wrong with this gate. 
space-time is twisted so the gate can't manifest itself, Kubo. When the future is made certain, the gate will be fixed, Kubo. Mm. Future made certain. Does that mean we should help the Academy with their important job? Kubo! Kubo! Well, we trust the Moogle. Remnants of a spatial distortion have been discovered at the gate. That points to some sort of paradox having taken place here. I wouldn't say it's taken place here. But it has taken place somewhere. there yeah I am going to be trying to go back at some point to the other academia I just don't know if it's ever gonna let me move forward no transmission issues we'll go to the head office last. way to where I'm trying to go. Up. I'm done with him. Wait for me. Relationship drama even. We all love a little drama. As long as it's not ours, right? I've I've only been in one relationship. Didn't turn out well. We don't talk about it. It's like Bruno. We don't talk about it. Oh, it's another terminal? Fine. New terminal. We'll try one more time. What was the name of the scandal involving the provisional government and blank documents? Uh, let's call it the Broad Daylight Incident. Aww. Again, most of this is just such random trivia. It's unfortunate. Oh wait, I have to go down there. Uh, unfortunately, creepy men also still remain in, in a city like this. Uh, leeches. Oh. Ooh. Engines are always helpful for our favorite medical monster. Especially since it takes so many to level him up nowadays. I find it odd that you can't uh, you can't mix and match different engine types. Like that that that's probably the only thing I don't like about our customization system. With me having like five of two different types of engines, but not six of any one, I can't upgrade my medic. I don't like that. Just remember, we've seen this much, and we are on the 500th floor of this city. We don't go to the other ones, but look at this place. And that's only a small section of it. Like, honestly. I wonder if 
there's anything I can sell. What's going on? Jumping 400 years into the future must be a bit unnerving. I know you must have a lot of questions. Feel free to ask me anything. All clear. Uh, yeah, can you give me the answers to all these brain blast random trivia questions that I wouldn't know about? <clears throat> I'd love you told me those. A gold casino ticket. Let's, Let's see what he wants to say. Have you heard the latest hit song? Do you know a girl named Alyssa? She works at the academy. I wish I could summon up the courage to talk to her. Did, did that person just ask if we'd heard the latest hit song? I am a researcher of monsters. My database contains profiles of every creature in existence, from Cocoon to the farthest reaches of Grand Pulse. Yes, I have them all. Ah, it's been quite the trial. I scoured the records, you see, compiling data from the most obscure Academy files. My work okay. is a thing of beauty. That's nice. If anyone has research that rivals my perfect database, I would certainly like to see it. Quite enough enemy data so even the famous doctor must recognize the brilliance of, a, of your beast, Jerry. You believe there are monstrosities even my research has overlooked? Yes. Very well. Let us see the proof of your words. Return to me when you think your data log has captured details on every monster. Do you understand? I do mean every single monster. So what happens if we talk to him now? You've amassed quite the pile of monster data. An impressive amount of research. Wow. Every monster, huh? How do we get that? Mog? But there's there's hold on, there's an item right there. Welcome to the Academy head office. How do I claim that item? I can't even. I can't. What are you? Ah, y'all, everyone. Oh, guys, everyone just crowds around. That is so stinking cute. Oh. Hey, lady, wait a moment. How would you like to test your knowledge with Captain That's Perfect's Lieutenant Amador. Quiz. It can't be. Amador? You know him? Yeah, he was in Cocoon's army. Lightning served in his unit. I've met him lots of times. I am Captain Cryptic, quiz giver extraordinaire. So, little lady, how about that quiz? That's weird. He doesn't remember me. Sarah, the Amador that you used to know lived hundreds of years ago. Which means, hey, uh, Captain, you're not human, are you? Correct. Captain Cryptic is a quiz-centric duplicate. Let's get started, then. Mm, oh, no. When Sarah lived with Lightning, they had matching accessories. On what part of their body did they adorn their jewelry? Um, not head. Lightning never wore head jewelry, right? No. I'd imagine hip. Not help. He appears in unexpected places. See if you can get his. He's always somewhere in academia, but finding him is half the trouble. <laughs> and we're just... Does he have anything to do with the man you knew? Are they really that similar? Like twins. How did this happen? That was trippy. <laughs> you, sir. Hmm. Oh! It's you again. I don't need to talk to you. Big jerk.
All right. Hope told us that he invented a machine called a time capsule. That's how they got here. Back in 13 AF, Hope devised a plan to build an artificial Falci. It was called the Proto Falci Project. He wanted to use the new technology to relevitate Cocoon. But then one day, Hope saw a certain prophecy in the Oracle Drive. So I activated the Oracle Drive and watched the prophecy. I saw you fighting the Proto Falci, and I saw you screaming out at me. Your machines are driving me nuts! <laughs> I was getting pretty ticked off by that point. <laughs> well, exactly. So we were forced to reevaluate the project and eventually abandon it. Okay, you saw Sarah getting mad at you, so you canceled your project and then poof, the proto disappeared. Is that about right? We didn't destroy it so much as it never existed in the first place. We were following the wrong path to the future. If the proto had managed to get control of Cocoon, it would have made itself the second Eden, and we'd be back where we began. Worse. We would have been worse off. Yeah. It would have been just like how it was on the old Cocoon. We realized we couldn't let that happen. We had to levitate Cocoon using only human technology. Right. Not to mention that if you had kept with the original plan, your machines would have killed you. Really? Then we owe you our lives. Thank you. Buddy, you lose your temper and the whole future changes. Which is both interesting and dangerous. Okay, but before I go talk to Alyssa, there's item drops. And I want them. Can I get down there? Alright! All good here. Wait, we're right back here again? Wait, but how do I... I guess we just have to throw the Moogle down there, huh? Like, how do we... There's no stairs leading down to here, right? Okay, so there's this. Because we can't Moogle throw in here, unfortunately. Platinum Casino ticket. Mm. There's another one. I can find out later. So I bet you're dying to know how he came to the future, huh? Kinda. You heard about the time capsule we used? It's a device that slows down time only for its occupants. The effect is caused by the creation of a powerful gravitational field, and well, essentially we just slept as the outside world flashed forward into the future. This capsule of yours, it can't take you back, can it? Nope. Unfortunately not. And considering it broke down after a single use, I doubt it'll prove to be a popular method of time travel. You risked your own life for the sake of Cocoon. Oh, the director was there with me. Obviously. After coming to the future myself, I, I think I understand how you must feel. The Academy has welcomed us with open arms, and we can research as we always have, but... Sometimes, I get these terrible anxiety attacks. Alyssa... Please, Sarah, you have to let me apologize for the way I treated you in the past. 
Maybe you can't forgive me for that, but I hope as fellow time travelers, we can face the future on friendly terms. I didn't think she treated us badly. She was the only one who helped us, actually. The Academy has made progress on its investigation into the 13th Arc. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the Ark's reactor is powered by an ore cluster known as the Graviton Core. By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. And the bad news? Good news. They're rare, right? Okay, so now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th Arc, for example, requires a single Graviton Core. We're going to need multiple cores that we can't seem to find. Need a hand with the search? If there's one thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. True! We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. Literally, we'll be time traveling. I'll together some data on Graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Okay. We have to bring five different Graviton cores. Go to the Academy front desk. Once we have all the cores, bring them to Alyssa. I like it. Okay, so to the front desk we go. Great. Okay. Alyssa told me all about you. You're helping us find the Graviton cores, isn't that right? And perfect timing. Time is our specialty. Info. Tell me, is this ore stuff really that hard to find? Oh yes. The Academy have sent survey teams all over the place. They've searched everywhere, but they haven't found a shard of the stuff. Mm. Hmm. But according to this latest data, our scientists use resonance imaging to identify a possible deposit. Okay. So we do have a defined location where a team can start looking. But it's just... It's just what? Dangerous. Well, it's kind of in a different time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a job for us, all right. <laughs> Here, show me that data. Graviton core readings have been detected somewhere in the area of New Bodum on Grand Pulse. Resonance imaging puts the data at 3 AF. No records exist of cores in this era, so we believe space-time anomalies must have kept the object hidden from contemporary detection. Interesting. We've designated the target Graviton core alpha. Brescia ruins, 5 AF. Erba, 200 AF. Academia, 400 AF. And the lot. Ooh, so we do have to go back there. And Yashas Mountains at 100 AF. Okay. The gate. Oh! Oh, so that's where the other Academia gate leads. Erba 400 AF. Sunleth Waterscape 400 AF. Okay. We changed the future, but it still needs our help. I bet we can find that ore. They need a way to lift the new cocoon into the sky. We can help them do it. Maybe that's why we've been brought here. Goodbye. Okay. Um, first things first, then. What's going on? I guess we can just return to the Historia Crux from here. Wait, hold on. What part of this map haven't we explored yet? How can there remain any fraction of this map that we have yet to enter? Where is it? Where is it? Chat, help me out if there's anyone in chat. Where where would there be a dark area we haven't gone to yet? Oh, there it is. I see it. Down there. 
Okay. Yeah, if we're going back to Academia 400 AF, the other one, be useful to have another map 100% just in case. I do wonder what would happen if we resolve the paradox in that era. Yeah, because otherwise I'd just go right back to the Historia Crux now. How can you be bored in this place? Can I resist? No, I cannot. All good. I'm hungry. Okay, it is possible to be hungry in a place like this. We'll give you that. You, you win that round. The red one is definitely cute. I wonder if I'm going to be just like Mommy when I grow up. I really enjoyed New Bodom. I can't wait to visit again. Oh yeah, New Bodom is still around in this timeline. Okay, so now we return to the crux. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for this video. Please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to me here on YouTube, and or follow me on Twitch if you want to see more of this content. Hope you have a good one.